Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of application of derivatives. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us to find equation of the normal to the curve and the curve's equation is y is equal to 1 plus x raised to 2y plus cos square sine inverse of x. So that is the entire curve's equation given and we have been asked to find the equation of normal at x equals to 0. So if I talk about the answer choices that I have here, the options are y is equal to 4x plus 2. Second option given to us here is x plus 4y is equal to 8. Third option they have given to us here is y plus 4x equals to 2. And the last option given to us here is 2y plus x equals to 4. So we need to figure out what is the equation of the normal to this curve at x equals to 0. So let's solve this idea first. So when they have told me the x coordinate as 0, I can just find the y coordinate with this, putting x equals to 0 in the entire expression. I get 1 plus 0 raised to 2y plus cos squared sine inverse of 0. If I solve this further, I get this as 1 raised to 2y plus sine inverse of 0 is 0. So cos 0, the whole square, that is nothing but 1 square. So you get 1 raised to anything is always 1. This is always 1. So you get y equals to 2. So you get that equation of the normal. You have to find that the coordinate 0 comma 2. Once I have that coordinate with me, I can just use the idea of finding the slope of the tangent and then using the idea of perpendicular slopes to get the slope of the normal. So first of all, let's try to find the slope of the tangent. Y is given to us as 1 plus X raised to 2Y plus cos square sine inverse of X. Now, if I try to simplify this idea first, I can use the idea of f of x here. So I can write f of x as e raised to ln of f of x. So if I use this idea, I can write that as e raised to ln of 1 plus x raised to 2y plus cos square sine inverse of x. I can write that as cos inverse of root of 1 minus x squared. So if I write this sine inverse, I can write that in the terms of cos inverse of root of 1 minus x squared. And that makes it e raised to 2y ln of 1 plus x plus this becomes cos of cos inverse root of 1 minus x squared the whole square. So let's see what I get here further. I get this simplified as e raised to 2y ln of 1 plus x plus this becomes cos and cos inverse goes there. So root of 1 minus x squared, the whole squared is 1 minus x squared. So you have y simplified. Now I differentiate this with respect to x becomes dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to, if I take the differentiation here, it becomes e raised to 2y ln of 1 plus x because we know e raised to f of x is nothing but e raised to f of x into derivative of f of x. So further, we have to take the derivative of the entire thing. That is 2y and ln of 1 plus x. Plus, the other part of that is derivative of 1, which is 0, and derivative of minus x squared, that is minus 2x. So you have this entire thing. Now let's solve it further. So I can write dy by dx as y dash, which is e raised to 2y ln of 1 plus x. Further, if I use the idea of u into v, I can write that as 2 times y ln of 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x into derivative of 1 plus x, which is 1, plus natural log of 1 plus x into 2y's derivative, which is 2y dash and minus 2x. So you have that entire thing. Now, once you need to find the slope of this tangent, I know I have to find it at the coordinate 0 comma 2. So instead of finding it in terms of x and then putting x and y as 0 comma 2, we can just put it here to get the derivative easily. 
So put x is 0 and y is 2. So if you put that derivative of y dash, the slope becomes e raised to 2 into 2 which is 4 and natural log of 1 into 2 into 2 4 over 1 plus 0 into 1 plus ln of 1 plus 0 into 2 y dash minus 2 into 0. So if I solve this, I get this y dash turning out to become e raised to, we know natural log of 1 is nothing but 0. So you get e raised to 0 which is 1. So let's write e raised to 0 first. And in the bracket you have 4 over 1 plus 0 into 1. So 4 plus natural log of 1 which is entire thing is 0. So you get y dash is nothing but 4 here. So you get the slope of this tangent to the curve is 4. I know that normal and tangent are perpendicular to each other. So if I use the idea of perpendicularity, I know the slopes are negative reciprocals. So slope of the normal to the curve is nothing but negative reciprocal of the slope of a tangent. So you get the negative reciprocal and you get the slope of normal turning out to become minus 1 by 4. So you get that idea. Now once you have that, you have to find the equation of normal to the curve at the point x comma y being 0 comma 2. And we already have the slope of the normal also now with us that says minus 1 over 4. So if I use the idea y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So y minus 2 is equal to minus 1 over 4 x minus 0. So that gives you y minus 2 is minus 1 over 4 x. If I solve it further it gives you 4y minus 8 is minus x. And that gives you x plus 4y is equal to 8. So you get the answer to the question that is asked to us that matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. That equation of normal to the curve at x equals to 0 where y comes out to become 2. It matches with option B that is x plus 4y equals to 8. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with ideas of finding the equations of the normals. So first we had our curves equation. We found the slope by differentiating with respect to x. That gave me the slope of tangent. Then I use the idea of perpendicular lines where slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. From there I got slope of normal. Once I got that, I just used the idea of equation of line where you had the slope of the normal and the coordinate of the point where the normal is passing through. So you have y minus y1 equals to m, x minus x1. You put x1, you put y1, you put m, you get the equation in terms of x and y and that matches with option B. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE means. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. Also share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you. See you tomorrow.